Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Maika and today we are going to be talking about a full face of Makeup Revolution. I took sort of the task upon myself this year to do a full face of a certain brand once a month. So far I've done e.l.f., I've done a full face of Asian beauty products, I've done Colourpop and I've done Catrice and I thought that Makeup Revolution would fit into that line quite nicely because Makeup Revolution is definitely a brand that I already owned quite a lot of products by but that I haven't tried other, like some things I've tried a lot of by Makeup Revolution, for instance their eyeshadow, but I haven't tried a lot of their base products for instance. So that's why I thought I could give it a whirl and I try to get myself a few extra items to um, make sure I have a full face, and we truly have a full face here. Um, I have everything here from primer to setting spray, the only thing I am missing is mascara, because I'm just too picky and mascara y'all, I just, I just can't, like I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm now trying a different one than one that I was really loving before this, and I'm already thinking it's a nightmare, so uh, bear with me on the mascara front, I don't have that, but I have everything else. So let's just get some makeup onto this face. By the way, my I have new neighbors moving in and they're doing a lot of DIYing, so if you can hear that, I apologize. But I need to film this video, so. <laughs> um, so we're gonna be starting off with the Coconut Dream Hydrating Primer with Vitamin C and E. And this is a very white primer, which I'm not sure whether that's going to look nice on my face. and. It smells so strongly of coconut, this is very heavily scented. If that's not your jam, this is not going to work for you. However, I did already swatch it on the back of my hand yesterday, and it was actually quite like pleasant, and it felt really sort of watery as you put it on. So in terms of hydration, I think it can be nice, but it just, it's really like sort of that like candied sort of coconut kind of smell. Not my favorite. And it lasted a very, very long time on my face, or at least on the back of my hand when I swatched it yesterday. So I hope the scent evaporates quickly. Uh, and then a product that I'm quite excited for because I didn't know they did this. This is the Revolution Prime and Lock uh, Long Wear Eyeshadow Primer. And this is just an eyeshadow primer. It doesn't come in a certain shade. And I had a lot of, I heard a lot of people talking about their, like, they're like eye bases, but those come in different colors, and I prefer to use a regular eyeshadow primer first, and then to use a uh, MAC Paint Pot to block out my lid. I just do, because if I double prime, I feel my eyeshadow lasts a lot longer. So I'm just going to, because this is quite, like it's a really large doe foot, and you get six milliliters of product in here, so there's a lot of product in this one, so. I hope this will work because my Essence one is about to run out um, and I was looking actually to see if I could tr use a different primer. Oh no, that's so much. I just tried to do a little dot. Oh no. Next time I'm going to have to put it on my fingers because <laughs> this can go everywhere. Oh, and it sets really quickly. Oh, it does sort of cancel out your lid, but not really. You see, it does sort of leave a little bit of a layer and I think this is one of those ones that dries to a bit of a tech, tacky kind of texture so we'll see how that's going to go in a minute all right so now it's time for foundation and for foundation I'm going to be using the conceal and hydrate foundation I have this in the shade f2 and um, when I decluttered my makeup collection in March I decided to keep the conceal and hydrate foundation because the conceal and define looked horrible on me. I only use it once, but man, it was such a cakey mess. But for the concealer, which we will go in, uh, moving on to in a minute, the concealer, I like the conceal and define better than the conceal and hydrate. Do I even make sense to you? Anyways, for foundation, this is the conceal and hydrate in F2. Um, this is a nice enough foundation. I haven't used it a whole lot since I got it, because to be quite honest, around that time, I was trying out lots of different foundations. So Maybe I should pull this into rotation sometime in a shop my stash uh, so I can use it a bit more often. But yeah, this was a much better foundation for my dry skin than the uh, Conceal and Define one because that, I don't know what happened to that, but that was not great.
All right, so that's the foundation on, and I think actually, like, it does match me in my neck, so that's great, but on my face, it looks a bit too pale almost, and that's probably because I, I bought this when I, when I was, like, coming right out of the winter time, I guess, and this year, because I've been working from home a lot, and we've been having great weather, I've just been going outside more than I usually do when I work, um, so I think I've caught a little bit of sun, so this is perhaps looking a little bit pale, but that's why we have bronzer and all that going on in a minute. Uh, for concealer, I'm going to be using the Conceal and Define Concealer. This is in the shade C3. Um, I feel that the foundations run a hair darker, which is why I have that in a lighter shade than the concealer. Right, and so that Conceal and Define Concealer, you may remember that that is one of my favorite concealers of all time. I prefer, in general, like, I prefer higher-end foundations, but I prefer drugstore concealers usually, and the Conceal and Define is, like, I went through one of those completely in the past, so this is a new one, so I'm loving that one. And uh, now we're moving on to powder, which is the Hydro, Hydra Matte translucent setting powder and this is from the revolution pro line it comes in pretty nice packaging i'm not sure if i can show you this oh it's not that messy but it has one of those like mesh layers that has you dispense the powder and this let me see if i can show you this but this is the finest powder ever when i pulled the like tab off over that was over the mesh i had this cloud of powder so I think that this is sort of like their version of that ter by Terry Hydra Matte. Um, so this is supposed to be hydrating and mattifying at the same time. It feels super duper smooth, and it also seems to be filling in some of the lines on the back of my hand. So this is very promising to me. I'm not sure how messy this is going to be as I use it. Um, I hope I don't have this like cloud of powder in a minute. <laughs> yep, it's, um, it makes for a cloud of dust as you're using it. I have asthma, so I start coughing immediately if there's like smoke around me. So uh, I do apologize for that. But yeah, I, I don't know. It makes my makeup look good. I mean, it definitely mattifies and sets it in place. Um, and I'm not sure whether I'm really using enough with the mesh layer. I'm not sure, but we'll see how it goes. Then for brows, I have uh, a very boring products first, but hey, I want to fill in my brows. So I bought one of their brow pencils. Oh, the name is probably only on the packaging. So I think this was just called their micro brow sort of pencil. I bought it in the shade taupe. And well, you can't really see that, but I think this just looks very warm. So, so here is a swatch. I think it looks quite warm toned, to be quite honest, so that's a bit of a shame. All right, so that's the brows filled in, and in my brows, it is definitely a, a hair too orange for my natural brow hair color. So uh, it would have been better if it was a bit more ashy, so this is not the best, but this doesn't have a lot of product. I mean, in terms of texture and all that, it's fine, but if you twist it all the way up, this is how much you get. So this is one of those brow products that you can just use up super duper quickly. Um, so this is definitely one where I feel that I could use it up at some point. That's usually what I do with my brow products. But now we have something super exciting. I'm not sure, oh, it's very blinding. Um, I bought the Soap Styler soap brows by makeup revolution this is something that i've been wanting to try for a while i know you can buy like a regular bar of soap but this comes in like shiny packaging and then that's the soap and it comes with this little brush and i've kept the box because there are instructions on here how to use it it says here dampen the applicator and swipe across the soap brush uh, brush gently across the brows in desired direction to create a 3d look or use without water to hold brows in place. So I'm going to use this wet because I think that just putting this like very sort of stiff brush into a dry soap, I, I'm just going to get clumps everywhere in my brows, but I wanted to try this. So I'm going to wet this um, and then I'm going to put it in the um, 
in the soap. All right, so I've wet the brush and now I'm going to get some of this product on. Ooh. Oh, it's in, yeah, it's in, it's on there. I couldn't swatch this when I tried it yesterday. I would try swatching it, but it's just a hard soap. And then I need to use this to put it in my brows. Oh, it's scented. <laughs> what else is new? Make a revolution in their sense. This may be something to do before powder and foundation instead of when you already have it on. And now the brush is just a bit gross and grubby because there's all this soap on it now. Ugh, I hate it when products get messy easily. So maybe I should try it dry next time. <laughs> oh, but it, it does definitely sort of, you know, put texture in your brows. So that's, that's good, I guess. Um, it definitely makes them look more textured but it also looks like there's little clumps in my brows now. It does feel like it's going crispy. You know, crispy brows, some brow gels just make your brows look very sort of like taut and crispy. I kind of feel that that's going to do, that this is going to do that too. But we'll see. I've never tried anything like this before, so I thought it would be a fun one to try. Um, and now we're moving on to blush, bronzer, and highlight. So let's do bronzer first. And this is a bronzer that I bought, I think about a year ago. And this is the Bronzer Reloaded in Holiday Romance. And I bought it because it's super duper light. And I love super light bronzers, mainly in the winter time. So I definitely already gave this a good try last winter. And it was lovely. I really, really liked it. So um, this is a baked product. Uh, and right now it's probably not going to do enough to give me a bit of color, but yeah, you see? It, it just really works with my very pale skin. All right, so as you can see, the bronzer just adds a nice bit of color to my face. And what I love with this bronzer is that I can just slap it on and I don't have to worry about how dark it's going to look. It just works so well on my pasty complexion. This does come in a lot of different shades. So if you're much deeper than me, they do also do this in like I think they have six different shades even, so that's a pretty good range. And then for highlight, I have two options because I couldn't pick. Um, this I just got. I saw this in store the other day and I was like, ooh, that's looking really pretty. So this is from the same line as that bronzer. They just did a re full revamp of all of their face products. And this is the Highlighter Reloaded in Dare to Divulge. And I mean... Look at that. I thought that was really, really pretty. So I, I would like to try that, but I think I'll first go in with the one that I kept for my declutter, just to make sure I had one on hand for this video. And this is the Radiance Triple Baked Highlighter. And this has a peachy undertone with a bit more sparkle. So I think this is a bit more subtle than this. So I think just for fun, I'm going to put this on first and then put the other one over top. But let me just swatch this for you. This definitely has a bit more sparkle to it. Um, and it definitely has a very different undertone. I'm not sure if you can see that, but this is much more blinding and this is a bit more subtle and it has that peachy undertone to it. Um, so, uh, but it does have some glitter sp specks in there as well, which is why it's not my favorite, which is why after this video, it's going to go away. But I did like it when I, you know, when I got it and tried it. You see that? This is perfect for like every day. Oh, now I don't want to get rid of it. This is why I never try products again after I decide to declutter them. <laughs> because then I know I won't want to get rid of them. Do you see that? Oh, that's really, really pretty. So this is a very thick texture, actually. This feels almost like creamy. So I'm just going to see if I can like sort of pop it here. Just to uh, add more shine. Ooh much more blinding. Do you see that? Ooh, nice. Uh, and then we have blush and this is the blusher reloaded in rhubarb and custard. And I'm not gonna lie, I bought this because of the shade name. 
<laughs> rhubarb and custard. Like what else is, what, what's not to love about it? So I am going to be using this brush with it, which is the uh, Zoeva Look Sheer Cheek Brush, because this just looks a bit bright and intimidating, and I find that this brush is much better at diffusing color if it's a bit dark or very bright than my usual Real Techniques blush brush, and this just looks bright. It's like a corally, pinky, peachy kind of shade, and it's matte, so I've tried this in the past, but I haven't used it much, but I thought it would be pretty for like, you know, spring, summertime, and that's what we're in right now. So I feel that the camera is washing it out a little bit, but it really gives, like, it looks very intimidating on the pan, but on the cheek it looks, oh, now you can see it. You know, it looks quite natural. And what I've been really liking to do right now, like the past few weeks, I've been really liking to take my blush more up to my temple. I'm not sure why. Sort of like contouring blush, almost blush draping, but not quite. I don't know why, but I just started doing it all of a sudden to go more for like, like, like that 80s kind of vibe. I'm not sure why, but I'm digging it all of a sudden. So for eyeshadow, I have two options for you, um, and I'm going to pull shades from both of these. I spotted that they were doing some more like mini palettes, and those are my favorites from Makeup Revolution, because the large ones, I feel they just give you too many things. And I actually got an email, I think two days ago, where they explained that they were doing some more, and they're doing like a... I'm not sure what it's called, like chocolate brownie or something like that, which seems to be more like cool tones with like a shimmering pop of lavender. Oh, that, that one looks stunning. But what I have for you here is one of their newer releases as well. This is the mini avocado palette, uh, or tasty avocado. And it's got eight shades. It only has three mattes, it's a lot of shimmer. And these are like very sort of cool toned kind of greens. Um, so I wanna pull from that. But then I spotted this, and this is the mini Turkish delight. This also comes in a large palette. But this also has a really stunning, like, almost like chartreuse kind of shade. And this deeper green that I think will go really well with some of the shades in here. So the Turkish Delight and the Mini, the Tasty Avocado both have eight shades. This has, like, purples and some neutrals and, like, this bright pink. Again, both of them have quite a lot of shimmer. That's the only downside. But I love traveling with these little mini palettes by Makeup Revolution because they are just super handy. And I'm currently really into really, like, small palettes. Like, give me six, eight pans, and I'm happy. You know what I'll do? I'm just going to build a look with both of these palettes, and then afterwards I will let you know how it went and what I actually use. Because at this moment, I don't even know what I want to do. Right, so the eye look is done. I quickly finished it off with mascara. And the shades that I used from the mini Tasty is I put this in the crease, this on the lower lash line, and this is also right here on the lower lash line. That's that pop of brightness that I put in there. Um, and I used this dark, like, brown shade, but actually it has a bit of green to it. I use that as liner. And then for the Turkish mini Turkish Delight, I use this shade in the inner corner, this shade in the crease, and this shade all over my lid. So those are the shades that I used to build this eye look, and I think it's really nice. The shades in the mini avocado are very powdery, so they have a lot of kick up. This not so much, and I have to say that this chartreuse sort of like goldeny shade, I really, really like it. It is just a very stiff shade, so I definitely had to go in with my finger to make sure it applied well. And then, already used, because I always do this before mascara, is this. This is one of my favorite setting sprays. This is the Green Tea Fixing Spray by Our Heart Revolution. I've, this is my second or third one that I've used up. I already bought a backup when I bought some of the stuff for this video. I love it. It's great. It really sort of sets your makeup in place, but it never looks cakey. 
and it costs just a fraction of what you pay for the Urban Decay all-nighter and I feel it works just as well. It's not as like as the Urban Decay, but still really nice. And then last but not least, lips. I only have one Makeup Revolution lipstick, so I'm gonna use it. It's a bright red though. This is the, uh, oh, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's from the new neutral line with the leopard print packaging. It's in the shade Stiletto, and it's one of the best drugstore classic mattes in my collection. So let's put this on. So green and red, of course, are a very big clash, so this is not the best combo, but this lipstick, you guys, it's so, so stunning. It's a really, really great lipstick. So yeah, that is my full face of Makeup Revolution, some new products that I wanted to try out, combined with some old favorites and things that I just wanted to try for this video. So that's the finished look. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give, vid give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make three new videos a week on Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So I hope to see you in my next video. Stay safe, stay healthy. Bye.